This is the actual Osmobot system itself. It contains everything that you need to be able to monitor and to data log your aquaponics and hydroponics system. So in this particular case, we have the antenna for the Wi-Fi. So this thing doesn't need to be connected directly to a router or anything, unless you want to. We do have a connector here, special connector here for an RJ45 if you want to connect it using a wire or if you don't have uh, Wi-Fi working very well in your greenhouse. The other parts here are this hose right here, which is actually the water depth. Take the end of the hose, insert into the water, and as far as the hose is inserted into the water, will give you your measurements. For instance, if this is five centimeters into the water, then it'll show you five centimeters. If you do push it farther down to 10 centimeters, it'll show you 10. So wherever the location of the end of this hose is, that's where the measurement will be. A lot of times people take this and connect it to the EC sensor as a, a ballast weight to be able to keep it down at a certain um, place, and it's convenient to, to mount. Now, all of the connections for the Osmobot for the instrumentation is done by what's down here. You can see they're actually color-coded here. And this is a, the connector for the pH bulb. So let's take the pH bulb, put it in there. This one's green, so insert the green one. This one is the EC and water temperature sensor. This is the yellow one, which is the light sensor. Just stick it in there. And last but not least is the relative humidity and temperature sensor. Just put it in there. Now, last thing you have to do is you plug it in with the barrel connector for the power. When you plug the unit in, the first thing that happens is it goes through a lamp test. And you'll notice that on the right here, this little lightning bolt here, that means it's power to the system. It's blinking rapidly, it means it's ready to connect to your Bluetooth. This means it's not connected to Wi-Fi yet. It takes a little time to look for the router and then eventually connect, and this tells you the status. White means right now that it is looking and programming the unit and the Wi-Fi devices uh, for the first time. When this thing turns red, this thing is ready to accept web pages from your phone or from your computer and to configure and set the password and username for your routers. 